hey guys welcome back to my channel so you know i can't let you guys down just like how i promised i'll show you guys how i got my blonde bob color and i know you guys been waiting for this especially knowing how difficult the last video was explaining how i got the color so here we go so first i started out with a 20 inch um lace frontal wig from v show hair company they send this to me so this is also a sponsored video the wig was a little bit too thin for my liking so i that's why i decided to make this wig into a bob so i cut um like probably three inches off before i start coloring because that would just be waste of hair color so i first went in with um revlon color silk in light ash brown and that was for the root color so i started to like put that onto the roots i started using my fingers to blend the color into the roots because i didn't want a line of um demarcation and that wouldn't look good i wanted a blended look and then when i got to the front i like really really took my time and used my fingers to blend it because that's where the lace was like there wasn't much parting space when it comes down to this wig which i didn't really like but that's okay um i was only wearing this wig in center part or a side part so i didn't really necessarily need that much center space and also the wig was a little big so i had to like do my little tricks and you know use my sewing machine to you know made it fit my head but my head is not an average size it's like a 20 inch circumference so it's really small anyway i went ahead and i finished the roots and that was the color and then i blow dried the hair because i wanted to go in with a different color the reason why i washed out the the root color before i start um adding the rest of the colors was processing really fast and i didn't want the root color to be too too dark because it wouldn't blend in with how light my blonde would be so um for this color i'm using the same colors that i use the jaico lumi shine demi permanent color with a five volume and this time i only left i think i left it on for like 15 minutes but i kept on going back and forth um, checking to ensure the color was not developing too dark for me because I, um, with a demi permanent color, the longer you the longer you let the process in time, the darker the color is going to be, and I didn't want it to be as golden or dark as my first wig. I wanted it a little bit more lighter, so I have two different color blonde wig. Um, this one is was was more of a beige color that I went in with 9NG, which is nine natural golden. Also went in with um, 10NG, which is 10 is night lighter than nine. So I went in with those two colors and I alternate between one. So I started out with the nine and then the next row I went in with the 10. Okay, so because I wanted some highlights in the wig lighter than the 10, and also i wanted around my face to be a little bit lighter than the 10 again i took out um the hair that will fall um around my face i used some conditioner to put on that because i didn't want the other colors to process that part of the hair i wanted that part of the hair to remain the color that it was even though when i was washing like when i was rinsing out the color and the color ran on that part of the hair it kind of tones it so it came to like the tone of what was going on but it didn't get as dark as the other colors if that makes sense i hope that makes sense these things are so hard to explain and i'm sorry if this, this, this didn't make any sense but yeah i just took out the perimeter and i put some conditioner the conditioner will stop the hair from processing for with other colors so that's what i did um, then I continue to the same pattern, you know, one color, then the other color, then the other color. Um, to be honest, when doing this type of like coloring, you have to have an image in your head. You have to know the plan, like you have to know the end result of what you're going for because you have to know the right pattern that you need to do because it can get messed up really, really fast. Blonde is one of the hardest color to do because there's so many different shades and yeah so you have to just have that plan in your head and know exactly what you're doing so anyway um that the last section before i reached to the lace i weave that section because um i didn't want it to have that one like not one color i wanted to have like the dimension because that's where are gonna show when the hair is false so that's where you want to see all those dimensions so what i did um i weave it and then 
the bottom section I put the darkest color which is a nine and then the top section I went in with the I went in with some conditioner actually when I get to the front of the lace now as I said I wanted around the perimeter of the face to be the lightest so I put some conditioner around like about an inch of the hair so this was the final result um, after I did those color and I didn't really like how it fall like the bottom part was really pretty but the um, the top part was too light it didn't have that much dimension that I was going for so I sectioned off the hair to where I liked it and started to put mostly the nine the nine ng at the top because yes the lightness was there that I loved I loved that shade but the darkness wasn't there so I started to go in mostly with the nine and I did that and then I think I let that sit for like probably 15 minutes because for some reason it wasn't like you know processing as fast as how I thought it would be when I was um, coloring the hair every time I was using a different color I would wipe my hands because you know, I want the true color for each color so I didn't want them to mix so every time I went in with a different color I ensure I use and wipe my hands with a paper towel or stuff like that um, when I reached to the lace part of the hair I was really really careful like, I looked at the hair and I, I parted to how I knew I would want it to wear and I looked at how it fall and um, the natural fall of the hair because I wanted it to blend and nice so because I wanted it to look blended and really really nice I decided to do diagonal sectioning when I was doing the color because that would help things to blend seamlessly and um, I also place the color um, according to how the hair falls so if I wanted more darkness when it falls I'll put the nine but because I wanted a mixture I kind of weave I did a lot of weaving when I reached to where the lace was and where I know I would part I did a lot of weaving right there and I did like diagonal sections and I mostly went in with the nine because right there I wanted the front part of my hair as I call it the money piece to be the lightest piece so because there's so much darkness around the, around that that's where the eyes will naturally like focus to so I put most of the nine right around the front and then that one in section that I put the conditioner conditioner at will be the vocal point I hope that makes sense again <laughs> I hope so but yeah that's what I did um and yeah um after that I let it sit and then I rinse it out and then I started to cut Before I started to cut, I straightened the hair and I went in with some heat protector because you know so much chemical that hair is already processed and it's just like protect the hair. So I wanted a clean cut bob. So um, I straightened it first and then I went in with my shears and I started to cut and I did small sections so my, I could see my guideline um to see exactly what i was doing because um to be honest it was a little bit thicker than what i like so i had to do like small sections to see what i like um what to cut and i cut like probably like until i reached to almost to the crown and then i started to use my um my razor comb because i wanted it i wanted the top part of the hair to be feathered into the bottom part of the hair so I used my share at the bottom part when I was cutting and then I used my um, razor comb to make it feathered into the hair um, after I was finished I don't think I have clips showing but I went in like row by row and point cut the hair to take out 
all that bulk that was in the hair because I don't like to see bobs really thick. I like when the bob is like flowy and have movement and it just doesn't look right. So I went in and I thinned that out by using the point cut method. Don't know what point cut is, it's like you have all the hair. I'm doing it right now. So yeah, so you just use the tip of the scissors and you hold it um straight upwards and just cut into the hair and yeah that's how you get that nice sleek like i love this bob i love it so much i love the color um the dimension in it the highlights in it the different tones in it it's just different you know everybody doing this ash blonde thing and it's nice but black girls you can wear a different shade of blonde you just have to find the right one for your skin tone um thumbs up if you want me to continue this doing different shades of plants look this is what i was telling you about look how this flows nicely look at the back look at the dimension look at the lightness look at the diff oh my god i did i love this this is what i'm telling you you have to have the the vision to see how it's gonna flow and just put the color um according to that if you do have the vision trust me you can mess it up look at this where i said i want the part like um I want the face to be lighter you can see everything that i was telling you that i wanted it just come through like <laughs> so anyway yeah um <laughs> i'm so excited about this video i'm so excited about this cup but yeah um if you want me to continue this give this video a thumbs up so that will indicate that you guys like it um check out this the show hair company i'll have all the inf hair information in the description bar actually this hair has been really nice to be honest like it's not shedding or anything i'm, I'm loving that i'm loving it because blonde hair is one of the hardest hair to maintain and yeah so if you have any questions leave it in the comment bar and i'll definitely answer you guys so yeah guys so take care guys and i'll see you in my next one bye